I wasn't sure about this guy, if he was worth listing. Does he have a tiny human on his butt? Okay, well it is a new day and we are back to working at the shop in the back room. I know everybody loves these videos. Um, Andrew is back here working as well. We're trying to get um, stuff cleared out um, so we can access the attic and the potential leak because they are coming today to look at that whole situation. Uh, in the meantime, I am pulling stuff off the shelves, deciding whether to tag it and box it up or list it. A lot of people were like, why don't you just list it? I was like, okay, you know what, maybe you're right. Maybe I should just list some of it. Um, so, so now I've got that in my head, like, okay, maybe I should list some of it. Um, but that's what I'm doing today. I'm going through stuff. I'd like to get some of these shelves cleared off. Um, I do have a few sales coming up this week, so that's going to help. Um, but as far as buy it now listings go, I just have to buckle down and list. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, the girls, Shelby and Sage, are packing this weekend's packages from the Color Carnival. And everyone's busy at work today. If you remember, I showed this in my recent shop video. I think this needs some denture cleaner to get out that cloudiness. So I'm going to go fill it with denture cleaner because I still have not bought any bong cleaner. Okay, we're just going to let that run its course. I was able to get down in there and uh, clean off some of the edges with this brush, but it's just so narrow that's the only brush that would work. Andrew's going to go assess the damage over there. I have to throw the shelving unit away. Yeah, I don't think it's salvageable. No. That shelf is sinking in. It's soaking wet. Um, the only thing I might be able to do is just get some more of that particle board cut to that size and replace the... Because the frame's fine. You can even just use plywood. But... Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I can get, I can just get something cut to that size to fit in there, um, so we don't have to like go out and buy a whole other unit to replace it. But Doesn't seem to be dripping anymore. No, because uh, the other unit is shut off the other thermostat. That's why we have no air in here at all. Oh. That's why it's hot in here. I didn't notice. It feels comfortable to me. No, it's hot in here. I'm already <laughs> dying. As I drink a hot coffee. Yeah. Um. So we've got light water in the light fixture. Um, I would like to try to avoid turning on the lights out here for oh, right now. Oh, I know. And water and electricity don't mix well. Really? Um, but the landlord's assistant did say that she was putting in a work order with the maintenance guys to come out and get the fixture and the tiles and all that stuff taken care of. Um, Insulation is going to have to be replaced up there. Are they going to fix the AC? Uh, the AC tech is supposed to be out today. I'm supposed to get a call 30 minutes prior to their arrival. Wonderful. Okay, so it doesn't look like much, but I got all of my Waterford listed from the bottom shelves, and that makes me feel good because it was a lot. I had a lot of Waterford sitting around, and I needed to get rid of it. So my next step is to list all of my Native American Cochinos that I purchased. Now, some of these from my research are actually pretty good. But I'm really just not very good at these. So this is Robert Harris Hopi. Hoppy. Um, there was one in here that I found. Was it one of the little guys? I don't know. Some of them are marked. Long hair. They're so cute. <laughs> little guys. Um, some of them can be worth a ton of money. So I'm going to list these at auction on eBay starting Tuesday. I'm going to either do 5 or 10 days, um, but I feel like 10 days gives collectors a longer time to find them. And the reason I'm listing them on eBay is because even though I love knickknacks, it's my community. <laughs> there are a lot more collectors on eBay, and that's where they're going to get noticed. Um, especially pieces like this, which are kind of obscure. So I'm going to list these on eBay. And then also the masks that I've been hanging on two forever. I'm going to get those out of here as well. So I'm going to list those at auction. I'm probably not going to start them at $4 because it's been a minute since I've done $4 auctions and I don't think people are expecting it. I feel like there should be another one. I had more than two. I couldn't, I couldn't find it on the main floor, but I'm going to go look again. 
All right, well, in addition to the tribal stuff that I'm listing to auction, I have decided to include some lamps. So I pulled this guy out. This is a Dresden. There are some condition issues here. For instance, uh, the flowers that the little cherubs are holding. You know, a few chips here and there. Um, nothing serious. I mean, it's always to be expected there's going to be some chips on these pieces. But I decided to uh, just list this on eBay starting at 20 bucks. <laughs> I'll let the market decide. Um, so I'm going to start that at 20 For some reason, this is giving me trouble. Come on. I figure if I'm going to do an auction, I might as well load it up and try to get at least 25 listings running. List it. Wait, save for later. I haven't put photos yet. So here is some of the other stuff I already have preloaded, which includes these masks from West Africa. Um, a few of the Chinese bowls. I'm kind of tempted to keep these teal ones just because they're so cool, but I'm also like, I can't keep it all. Um, the Kachinas. There's one in here that's JK. Apparently this artist is very uh, desirable. Of course, this is a small one, so I don't know if that means anything. Um, some of the larger ones are hundreds of dollars, but I don't know. I was like, oh, well, that's cool. Um, so that, and then I wasn't sure about this guy, if he was worth listing. Does he have a tiny human on his butt? Oh, no, that's a, t oh, that's a raccoon. <laughs> like a raccoon pelt, not a tiny human. Um, it looks like he's supposed to be holding stuff that he's missing, and he may have had a pedestal doesn't want to stand. I don't know if it's worth listing him. So he's just kind of chilling up here. And now I'm thinning out the top shelf. <laughs> Probably going to stop right around there when I start to get to the mascots. But um, poor Ethel did not make the mascot cut. She's going up. She's going to auction. Um, she is marked Grandma Ethel Gathers Firewood. Village Elliot's 1973. That's why she has stuck around as long as she had because she lost her firewood. But um, there's some value there. Look at how sculpted her face is. It's pretty amazing. It's so lifelike. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> but I'm going to list her. I'll probably start her relatively low. But, um, I'm going to stick her up here. And then I think I'm going to get out of here for the day, and I'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow. I mean, you're going to have, are you going to have more rows of shelving, like, over here? Yeah, there's going to be, like... Yeah, so you just use these for, like, maybe smalls, and then you use the bigger shelves for your taller, bigger items. Does that make sense? You can hang art up there. You could. You got a whole wall to hang art there, you got a whole wall to hang art there, you go. Shelves are going there or, and there. You know, yeah. I have a tape measure in the uh, center console of the truck. We're trying to get the layout <laughs> all figured out. Uh, we did move this rug down here because we are getting a new rug for under the table, even after I cut it, which wasn't my best decision. But it's okay, nobody will notice. I mean, you'll notice because you know about it, but I feel like once it's flat, nobody will know. <laughs> so we're going to keep the rug down here. It's also going to buffer the sound, which will be nice. Um, and we're going to move that island over there into Shelby's work area. So, right, so if you used these, these are 18 inches. 18 inches would stick out to here. Yeah, I don't think I want to do any more than 18. So that's what those are. Yeah, I think we need 18 on this wall. Now, um, they might actually, they're actually going to stick because you have the trim at the bottom there. So from here out to, yeah. that's 18 inches. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go with 18. I mean, our listed shelves right now are about 18. That's what they are. Yeah. yeah. So this is going to be eBay. Um, and they don't have to have every single shelf on them. Oh, I know that, yeah. Yeah, so if you have some like taller items or you want one shelf that's missing, like one so you can put some tall, you can do that. Yeah. So I'll order some more of those because we don't have any more of those. 
no, or no, no. we can use these over there and then I can order more of the bigger ones because the bigger ones can go against that wall. Yeah, how deep are the, because you have that little Those are 24, well, 18. Well, you have a little cut in the wall back there. So, 24, and. That's 25 inches, so you'll have an inch, you'll have an inch, and you can actually slide it right up against this wall. Perfect, and they're taller too, so we have more space. Do you remember how wide they are across? 48. 48. So, 24, 48. That's cheap ass tape measure. <laughs> what do you get for getting something free? <laughs> so that's, that's one 48 inch shelf right there. Okay, so I would say three. I, I have two on order right now. I would, I would say you could probably get a third one in here at least. Okay. At least a third one. And then we'll use these as our current listed inventory. So those can move against this wall. So this is going to be eBay listed inventory. We should be able to fit two there. Yeah. And then this whole wall is going to be knickknacks listed inventory, which we have a lot more of because they've been moving things to knickknacks. So this wall will be knickknacks listed inventory. Okay. And then off of this wall, we're going to have more shelves going this direction. And that's going to be stuff that we price for the antique wall booth and stick in boxes to go get dispersed. Okay. So as we're processing things, pricing stuff for booth inventory or antique mall inventory, we're putting it in a box and then Shelby or Sage can just grab the box and take it. And we'll just keep it all on the boxes right here inside the door. Or mom can come by if she wants to do the booth and just grab it. So that's our diagram. Okay. Aren't you glad I drew that up for you? Listen, I drew all of the shapes. Hey, you did the internal diddles. I did the, I, I did the, the doodling. I did the, art, I did the hard part. You drew the rectangle, Andrew. And doors. And the rectangle. And work table. And processing. And shipping. And I did the doodles. I did, I did a good job, too. I know. <laughs> That's really cute. Oh, they probably fell off. Oh, I see. Oh, I thought she wanted shelf, a shelf right there. I'm like, oh, she wants a shelf right there. But really, it uh, fell off here. the wall. Yeah, because she has pictures. She was going to hang some of her pictures up. That is so Shelby. I love that. She's with her, her personal stuff. Yeah. Which I told her, please do. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love it. And look what Sage brought in. This is so cool. They're like creeping on their stuff. I love this rug. This is a fun rug. Yeah, it is. I'm all about it. It's gonna be so much fun. She's got box storage. Yes. We're gonna obviously have some of the boxes stored underneath the main sizes like we do now. Yes. And then. Oh yeah, I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was my that was my intention, my plan anyway, to put yeah. all, all the extra stuff up there. Absolutely. And I think we'll have it like um, labeled by box size, so then we can just get a ladder and then pull the box sizes down when we need them. I'll, I'll organize that and I'll make it accessible. You're gonna organize it? Yeah. I'll organize that. We're gonna need a ladder though. The ladder's gonna go right here. That's the plan. This is like Knickknacks headquarters. What I'd like to get is, um, you know, that, that ladder that I was, I moved out of the way when we got the air purifier, the steps on wheels. Yeah. I'd like to get a smaller version of one of those because then that'd be more stable to go up and down to climb up there. And, and then we can, just have to keep this in mind. And it can wheel back and forth out of the way. Yeah, no, I'm cool with that. We just have to keep that in mind and make sure it stays out of the way of that. It's actually not too hot in here. No, it's not. There's no AC or fans running at the moment. No, and that's what I'm saying. Like, this really isn't that bad. And when those fans are running, it's really not that bad. So we don't need, like, a massive air. I, I feel like the girls are going to get cold in there. I doubt that. Maybe Shelby. Mini fridge.
cute little thing. All right, well, they didn't have the color I wanted. Because you're going to have to, if you're going to do the front, you're going to have to do this piece here. Yeah. And then when you get over to this side, you might want to put some tape on that so you don't paint the, that part. Yeah. I think it's pretty straightforward, I think. I'm going to paint the mini fridge. So you're gonna have a Pepto Bismol fridge. Listen, it. Whatever you want. It whatever, light. Whatever. It lightens when it dries because it is chalkboard paint. Whatever. It's gonna look amazing. Right. Trust the process. We're gonna be the first one to see it. <gasps> Start scuffing it. Yeah, you're ruining the fridge, Andrew. Don't sand that away. We need the ins insignia. No, what I was saying is up here, you'll be able to, since this is on an angle, yeah. you'll be able to get right on that edge. And with the tape on there, it won't mess that black up. Yeah. It's going to be a pretty pink fridge when we're done with it. You're going to go through that pretty quick. I know, I was thinking I might need another one. You said you're going to Lowe's tomorrow? Uh, I'm going to have to pick up an air conditioner. Alright. Um, wasn't there something else we were talking about getting over there? The, put your wire so I can hang oh, yeah, the wire. birds. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, I think today I'm going to hang these fellows. Alright. It's completely sanded. I think it is anyway. I can't tell if those are shiny. Sp oh no, that's just dust. <laughs> it's all over my hands. I got to wipe it down. Um, and then prime it. And then I think tomorrow I can paint it. That's the plan anyway. Uh, I looked it up online and this is the primer they suggested. Bullseye primer. So we'll give it a shot. First coat is complete. I know that wasn't me that got paint on the ground. That was already there. <laughs> so I'm going to add another coat. I think yeah, it's already dry. Look at that. So I'm going to add another coat. I think I'm going to do two, I'm gonna do two coats. And then tomorrow I'll come back and I'll put the pink on. All right. Well... Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me yesterday and today. Uh, I got a few listings done and up on eBay. Those auctions are starting tonight, June 24th, 2024. And they're, uh, they're running for 10 days. I decided to run these for 10 days because they're kind of off. Thing. They're weird. They're kind of weird things. Um, like the little... Um, <laughs> The heat is getting to my brain. There are uh, little Native American pieces and um, odds and ends that I don't really know a whole bunch about, but I want the right eyes to get on them, so I'm running them for 10 days on eBay uh, that has, you know, billions of users, um, and I hope the right eyes get on them, so they're listed for 10 days. Um, and then today, here we are <laughs> at uh, the new place. We got the rug down, started painting the mini fridge. Um, that's a fun project. Um, they didn't have the color I wanted, and so I decided, you know what, I'll just paint it the way I want it. So we're gonna paint it pink. Pixie pink is the color, um, and we'll have it uh, painted tomorrow. And we'll get the coffee um, stuff in tomorrow. We're gonna move those shelves over, um, start getting the knickknack stuff over here. I think the box order is coming here, and um, I'm just ready to be working out of this space. <laughs> like, Wish it would move faster um but it's taking it's taking time so anyway um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see all of you tomorrow so long join us on knickknacks.net where you can browse over 58,000 listings Check out multi-day auctions or live sales now. Featuring air plants, Mexican pottery, antique collectibles, ooh, it glows, vinyl records, hand-blown glass, and furs. Find what you're looking for on knickknacks.net.